Ambrose Gerald Jr., Black Marine Biologist and Fishery Biologist. Ambrose Gerald Jr. started his career as one of the first Black Fishery Biologists at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and spent his nearly 40-year career as a marine biologist at the Northeast Fisheries Science Center in Woods Hole, Massachusetts. The lecture series named after him in Woods Hole reflects his career-long commitment to increasing diversity in environmental and fishery sciences. Ambrose Gerald Jr. grew up on a family farm in Orem, North Carolina, and became interested in science during high school. In 1965, Gerald earned a Bachelor's of Science from what is now called the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, with a major in biology and a minor in chemistry. After graduating, he worked for a few years as a chemist at Publicer Industries, Inc. in Philadelphia. In 1967, he was recruited by Bradford Brown to begin a fully funded master's program at Oklahoma State University, Stillwater. In 1969, he was drafted into the Army during the Vietnam War and was posted in Maryland as a at a medical research laboratory where he was able to conduct biological research. During his time in the military, Gerald also worked on a master's of science research on masters on his master's of science research on channel catfish, earning his degree in 1970 from Oklahoma State University Stillwater. After completing his military service in 1971, Gerald had several offers to attend doctoral programs but chose to return to Oklahoma State University Stillwater for a PhD, working with his advisor Rudy Miller. His zoology dissertation research on the sexual behavior of the honey gorami earned him his PhD in 1975. After earning his PhD, Gerald worked as, assist as an assistant professor at of biology at Lincoln University, Pennsylvania, from 1975 to 1977, when he took on an assistant professor position at Howard University. During this time, he took, he took advantage of short-term research opportunities at different locations across the country, including studies of anchovy in San Francisco Bay in collaboration with Lawrence Livermore Laboratory at the University of California and the University of California. Gerald spent the summer of 1977 doing research with marine animals at the center's Sandy Hook Laboratory in New Jersey and the summer of 1978 on a part-time appointment at the Woods Hole Laboratory. That summer, a permanent federal, federal research position in Falmouth, Massachusetts was announced, with Gerald applied for, which Gerald applied for, and was hired. Gerald worked at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Northeast Fishery Science Center from 1978 until his retirement in 2016. At the time of his hiring, Gerald was the first black researcher with a doctorate degree at NEFSC. He joined a group that was tasked with acquiring biological information to assess the populations and stocks of important fishery resources. The group collected data on a wide range of metrics, including age, which, was, which has resulted a robust and well-known data set of age composition for many fish and shellfish species. Gerald contributed to several studies on techniques for age determination, including optical Fourier transform analysis of fish scales and definition of growth lines for microstructure of ocean quahog shells. He also authored the chapter on age determination in fishery techniques an oft-cited reference for fishery scientists. In 1985, Gerald became chief of the research planning and evaluation section, and in 1997, became chief of the research planning and coordination. In 2004, he became the director of academic programs, the position he eventually retired from in 2016. In his role as a biologist and administrator, Gerald has provided the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration with leadership on national and international affairs in South Africa. He was appointed to the U.S. South African Bilateral Commission's Working Group on Fisheries, and he worked with Sea Fisheries, South Africa, 
on development and implementation of a strategic plan, organizational restructuring, mandates for corrective actions dealing with human resources, and outreach and engagement with tertiary higher education institutions in South Africa. He has been in he has been intricately involved in NOAA science and technical support for six West African countries around the Gulf of Guyana. Citations are in the description.